There we go, looks fantastic. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back. So today I just finished building this nice cedar flower box here. It's a trough design and it looks fantastic, but it was super easy to build. The whole thing only took six fence pickets. Now I know it might be a little late in the year right now for a flower box, it's clearly fall for me. There's leaves on the ground, fall flowers. But depending on the time of year you watch this, could be spring or summer, and it would look equally as good with some nice multicolored flowers in it. So let's get at it. Okie dokie. Now the first thing we're going to do is kind of clean stuff up here. Now my cedar fence pickets have one good side, and I use that term pretty loosely, and one really ugly side. So I'm just going to kind of batch this out beforehand and buzz everything with some 80 grit sandpaper. I'm not going for perfection, I'm just kind of cleaning up a lot of that ugly. From there we can start our milling process. Now I'm going to start by squaring up one end of every single board. This takes about the width of the saw blade off and squares the board up, but it also removes a lot of really rough ugly wood right from the edge. Then I'm going to cut everything to length as I measure and keep going that way, just because this way it accounts for the thickness of the saw blade curve and I won't get progressively shorter and shorter boards as I work my way down. With all the boards cut to length, now we can rip them to width. Now the pieces for the body itself, as well as for the trim, I'm going to rip them to two and a half inches wide and you'll see where they get used later. One thing that's important to mention is every piece that I recut, you see I'm turning them around and I'm recutting my already cut side. This retains the factory round over edge. Then for our legs, I'm just going to make a two and a quarter inch rip as well as a three inch rip on the leftover pieces. Now using a couple of leftover two and a half inch scrap pieces, I can cut out the center support legs to length. The assembly of the legs is pretty straightforward. I've got my two and a quarter inch piece and my three inch piece here. Now my factory rounded edges are facing down and out. My cut sides are facing up and my nice sides are facing out as well and the ugly sides are facing in. This way when I put the three inch piece on top of the two and a quarter inch piece and glue and nail it together with some exterior glue because remember this is going to be outside and some inch and a half long brads it's going to give us a nice perfect leg that's three inches by three inches. And then optionally if you want you can fill all the nail holes and the seams with some exterior rated wood filler just to give it a nice seamless look. Moving right along, we get to the body. Now we got to pre-drill all of our holes. So we're going to be working on the inside of the flower box this time, pre-drilling our holes. So the ugly side of all the boards. Now for our short sides, we're going to be measuring an inch and a quarter in from the end of every board. Whether you choose to space the holes out evenly like I did is entirely up to you. Then for our long sides, we're going to be measuring in only three quarters of an inch from the edge of every board. With that finished, now's a good time to put some 120 grit sandpaper in the sander and clean up all the wood filler on the legs. Soften all the outside edges as well with it and then clean up the pencil marks on the back side of the body as well as soften the outside of the body panels. Prep work's done, now we can start on assembly and there's a couple things I want to make mention of just for aesthetic purposes and for order of operations. Now we're going to start on our side panels first. Now these are the legs for our sides and you'll notice I've got them laying on the table here like this. This is my two and a quarter inch piece, this is my three inch piece. The seam is right there on both legs. That's going to be the outside of the side. Now our side panels, we're going to start with one of our thin pieces on top and our thick piece just below that. This is a full size piece right here and I've got my ripped side, the piece that I ran through the table saw. So both square edges facing up and my factory rounded edge facing down on the inside right there. And then on this guy, same thing, I've got a factory rounded edges are all facing out and towards each other. So that way when you stand the side up, you have your factory rounded edges on the side of the panel facing each other. So it looks really good. And you're, again, your seams on the legs are facing out. So when you look at it from the front, it's just a three inch piece. And the last thing for aesthetic purposes, what we're gonna do is take, measure back about seven eighths of an inch on each leg. And then we're gonna take these to the table saw and knock them off at a 45 degree angle. 
Make sure you're doing this once you've kind of figured out the orientation of your side panel. Don't pre-cut all your legs first because you may actually screw up what end you're cutting and then some of your seams just won't line up. Again, not a big deal, but for aesthetic purposes, cut them once you know the orientation of them. Now we just gotta get to cut, glue and screw. Do it up. Now for the trim on top, you can either just butt joint all the ends together and cut them to size with whatever overhang you please. It's not the nicest look, but it'll get the job done. Or you can picture frame it like I am. You could also make it much longer than I am. That way the inside of the picture frame is flush with the inside of the box. Or you can make it just a couple inches longer than the box. That way you've got kind of a lip on the inside of the flower box itself. If you're going to do the picture frame method, however, you're definitely going to want to add a glue sizing to all of the end grains. There's nothing more than just some wood glue that you smear on and let it dry for about 10 minutes. So this bead of wood glue actually has something to bond the two pieces of board together with. Then an inch and a half long brad near the tip and a two inch brad coming in from the other direction to help square up all the corners. Then glue and nail it onto the uh, flower box using nothing more than just the fingertip tape measure method and some two inch brads. And for the finishing touches, we're just going to apply wood filler to all of our nail holes as well as the corner joints, soften all of the edges of the feet with 120 grit, remove all the wood filler on top, soften the inside edge of the trim, remove all of the dust with a shop rag dampened with water and spray or wipe on three coats of an outdoor rated clear and let her dry and enjoy. And that's it you guys, what would have been destined for a lonely boring life as a fence picket has been turned into something beautiful. So I hope you guys liked the video, I hope you liked the project. If you guys did, hit me up down below, let me know what you think. I would really appreciate it. But otherwise, I'm gonna be working on the website here coming up. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of plans for past projects, for future projects, including this one. So if you guys want more information, depending on when you watch this, it's either coming up or it may already be live. So check it out down below, I'd really appreciate it. But otherwise you guys, Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.